This is the GoPro Hero 10 special bundle. The downside of being a YouTuber for 17 years means that you're compelled to unbox everything you get. Now, unlike the e-bike, which was on loan to me, I actually won this as a prize. I'll tell you about that a bit more in a future video coming soon, because first I'll have to check what I can tell you about the project I was doing. Anyway, back to this. I've been waiting all day to unbox this because I've been in and out. So I'm finally back home for good. And I'm going to show you what the GoPro special bundle is all about. Now, I can't say that this is a standard thing, but this came to me with an Extreme Plus SD card or micro SD card and adapter. You will need one of those for this GoPro because of the speed. So this is 200 megabits per second, uh, which is quite fast. But back to the GoPro itself. Quick look at the box here. So it says 23 megapixels, 5.3K resolution at 60 frames per second or 4K at 120 frames per second. Waterproof to 33 feet or 10 meters. So that's pretty impressive. And inside, it looks like we get all these extra features as well. Looks like a mount and a case. Tripod. Tripod. So let's have a look. I'm really impressed with this one. I'm not sure if it's the top of the range one, but it's um, certainly not the bottom of the range. Voice activation, like my friend Gary's GoPros have. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. It's quite weighty. There's a, some of the accessories there. Okay, well, finally I can open it, so... It's, it's the best way without ripping it. Well, there is no best way. Let's face it. Let's just open it. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't have to give this back. This is mine. I won it. So, I'll still keep the box there. So, there's a nice case. Case says GoPro on it. And, let's have a look. I've always wanted a GoPro. Oh, pretty. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. Okay, so we have some nomenclature there. Well, I'm sure you can read that if you buy one. Okay, let's prop this up here. One prop. Okay, so that's the actual GoPro. Let's not drop it. There we are. Wow. Okay. You'd think that after all these years of YouTubing, I would have a GoPro, but well, now I do. Which means I'll be able to record some uh, some footage in the car because it's not illegal to use a GoPro mounted. Obviously, you always um, are a bit prudent what you film and where. The thing I like about this, there's the camera, obviously, but there's the viewfinder, so people won't notice you're looking at yourself on the screen, which is a big no-no that a lot of YouTubers do. You can see they're looking at the screen. They should be looking down the lens. So that comes off. Do you want me to pull it off? No. Anyway, that comes off. Same with the lens, leave it just while I'm touching it. That's the power button, I wonder if it's got power. Press that in. I've never used one before, except for my big massive vlog I did with Gary, possibly it needs charging. Uh, possibly I need longer fingernails. Well, anyway, I'll just have a, oh, there goes a piece of paper. We'll have a quick look here. We'll have a quick look here at what you get in the box, basically. So you get the GoPro, which is a good thing to have in the box. Now, okay, so cables, oh, I see. So, oh, 
Oh, that's got some force behind it. Oh, oh okay. You don't want to be putting your nose in that. Ouch. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously some sort of mount that attaches very firmly to things and the GoPro slides on there. I see those fold out. Oh, if I had fingernails, I could probably do that. I'm winging it here. I've never played with one of these before. Hmm. Um, oh, I'd say that you attach that to another sort of mount. I'll just leave it for today. I'm just showing you what's in the box. Very cute little thing. Very nice. So, yeah, obviously the um, USB cable. What is that? Oh, batteries. That's why it didn't come on. Two batteries. That's great to have two batteries. We might stick one in, huh? Two batteries. Very good. Normally things you buy only come with one battery. Now anyone with a GoPro will be saying, well, why don't you just put the battery in? Because I'm trying to work out how to do it. <laughs> Maybe I'll read the book. <laughs> well. Okay, well, we'll move on first. This must be the tripod. No, that's uh, uh, okay. That would be the mount that goes underneath. I just showed you. What else? A that would be the screw for the mount that goes underneath the tripod. That's a stick on mount for the GoPro. That's handy. Another, another screw. Um, another mount. She comes with a lot of mounts. Ah, right. And this would definitely be the tripod. Like I say, this is the um, special package. It's not a. I don't think all GoPros come with these. Somehow this would open. I'm showing you live because that's the best way to be. So somehow that opens obviously and the legs spread without alcohol. Okay. Well, they spread, okay? Trust me. I can sense it. <laughs> yeah, so I was right. You just flick those things apart. Lots of fingernails involved with this. Ah, got it a second ago. All right. There we go. Handy. Little tripod. Does that extend? I'm not sure. Anyway, then you can mount one of these brackety things on top, I think. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> no, it turns out I was right. You do just spread the legs like that. Ouch. Still need fingernails. Oh. Oh, man. Spread the legs, and then you lift this up, like that, and it goes up and up and up. And there we have a tripod. Yeah, all right. So this is the long and the short. Let's just throw the battery and see if it powers up. Okay, I just played with it. So, basically, to me it's awkward, I'm sure. If if it wasn't your first time, you pull that latch, that comes up. Then you put the battery in, which I just tested, and they, they do need charging from the get-go. Push that in, close that, and to power it up, you press that one. Little screen there, battery flat. And if it wasn't flat, there you go. You'd see yourself there. So that's how to do that part. <laughs> Complex. So then I assume this would be where you put the SD card. Well, I'll tell you, you need fingernails. Oh, which I don't have. Oh, shit. Okay, I've, I've read the diagrams. 
so it's as I can. <laughs> so first you charge it, plug that into a USB, charge the battery, and that is the little slot that you put your micro SD card in. And then you close it up and you're good to go. <laughs> um, all right, so that's basically what's in the box or bag. Not a bad package. I guess the best thing to do would be to power it up and show you how it works. But we're going to do that in the next video. Because I'll put it through its tests and give you a comprehensive test of this GoPro Hero 10. So in the meantime, thanks for joining me. Now you know what's in the package. And it's a pretty good package. Alright, we'll see you in the next video and we'll test it out thoroughly. Cheers. GoPro turn off.